Last week, Donald Trump mocked a reporter. Right after, a couple of good paragraphs, it, and it's talking about northern New Jersey draws the prober's eye, written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I go, oh, maybe that's what I said. This is 14 years ago. He still, they didn't do a retraction. Now, he claims he didn't know the guy was disabled. Here's the reporter and Trump. Close call. A dude with disabilities mocked in a way that seems to play off a disability. Let's watch the tape again. The poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I go, oh, maybe that's what I said. I'll admit it. I cringed. But hey, as long as he's in front, who cares? Well, I do. And fans of the five do, too. They are fans of this show because they like how we treat each other. If they saw their son pulling a Trump, they'd smack him. But it's not Trump's fault. It's the enablers who indulge him. I embrace the broken window theory. You know, if you, if you don't police small crimes, you end up with bigger ones. During my speeches, my manager sits up front. Later, he tells me what I did wrong, and my wife chimes in. They save me from my idiocy, and man, it is a lot of work for them. And it's hard for them to be honest and say to me, Greg, stop being a jerk. But they do it because no one else will. That's my role here, Donald. I care. I'm telling you, knock it off because clearly no one else will. Stop treating this like a blue-collar comedy tour. You're not Triumph the Insult comic dog. You need fewer toadies and more folks who operate under a code. And a code is a set of principles that exist independent of politics. A person with a code reacts consistently to actions regardless of who did it. Remember when we nailed President Obama for his Special Olympics joke? A code requires that we do the same here and now. So no more excuses, exaggerations, and impersonations. You're running for president, believe it or not.